What's up, guys? In today's episode, I go over the ESP Custom versus the LTD Deluxe. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, and today I wanted to go over ESP versus LTD. And, uh, you know, funny enough, I've been an ESP aficionado since the late 80s uh, when I first ended up buying my uh, ESP M1 Custom uh, in the late 80s from Saab, who was the guitarist of Marauder. And then uh, once I started playing again in 2016, I ended up buying uh, Gibson Les Paul that I then traded for a brand new ESP M2, uh, and then remembered how absolutely incredible they were. So I then started collecting my ESPs, and of course, because they're a little pricier than the average Jackson and uh, Ibanez, you know, I could only buy one every once in a while, whatever, um, and realized, you know, hey, this is kind of my brand. You know what I mean? Like, I feel... For me, if I were playing a show right now, it would be Mesa Boogies and ESPs all day long. Um, so I have accumulated quite a number of ESPs. Uh, this isn't all of them, but <laughs> that one is my 1992 uh, ESP Horizon Custom. These are all neck through body. Uh, this is my 1993 ESP M2 Custom. This is my 1991 ESP M2 Custom. This is my 1987 ESP M1 Custom. Uh, and here is my other 1991 ESP M2 Custom. So, to say that I am a uh, ESP snob is an understatement. Like I, dude, I never ever wanted to touch an LTD. I'm just like, no thanks. Lewis, I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Mm, I'll take your word for it, but no thanks. Uh, <laughs> so I ended up getting an original LTD um, the year they started making them in 1996. The first batch were actually made in Japan. That one I actually have uh, hanging on my wall right now. And it is literally like any ESP M2 standard series uh, with very minor things that are slightly different, uh, but it's basically built and feels exactly like any ESP M2 uh, standard series. But that being said, the standard series are not the custom. Right out of the gate, I've owned tons of ESP standards and they are all amazing. They're all some of my favorite guitars. Uh, once I ended up shifting back over to the customs, you know, I ended up paying a little bit more for those than the standards, uh, but they were well worth it. As far as weight goes, they're a little heavier. They feel solid. The weight balance and weight distribution between the body and the neck headstock uh, is just, I just think it's absolutely perfect. You know, I've actually had some guys tell me that they don't like the customs because they're heavy. And, you know, that's just... Listen, there's some guys that'll play Gibson Les Pauls uh, up until 1985 because anything after that, they just feel different to them. So everyone will kind of have their give and take on anything. Um, but a lot of guys told me, you know, from my buddy Tony to my buddy Mark um, to Randy, like, dude, so many guys are just like, bro, you don't understand that the LTD 1000 series is literally at another level. Um, and by another level, next level, they're all made in Korea, which is actually the one that everyone was telling me about. They're like, make sure you get the Korean one. Don't get the Indonesian made um, ESP, uh, I'm sorry, LTD 1000 series. Cause they kind of eh, went a little downhill when they shot over to, um, to Malaysia and Indonesia. So, 
out of the blue, I was just like, all right, hey, look, there's an LTD M1000. Everyone says that they love it and that I would love it because it's more like the ESP uh, M2 Customs. So I was just like, okay, listen, for a few hundred bucks, let me just grab this guitar. Uh, and then funny enough, you know, I ended up getting it. Uh, the case actually had the name Mantis with two N's uh, written on there. Did some research, turned out they were a band from California. I reached out to the two guitarists, turned out that uh, Adair, uh, who was one of the guitarists in Mantis, reached out to me and he's just like, send me a photo of it and let me take a look. And he confirmed that it was actually his guitar. So the first LTD M1000 that I bought turned out to be the band that came in second place during the Battle of the ba the Battle of Ozfest or Battle for Ozfest, whatever. Uh, that was around back in the early two thousands on MTV. Uh, they had all these bands that were uh, you know trying to outdo each other so they can play uh, on uh, in Ozfest. And Mantis came in second place. So Google it or YouTube it. Just type in Mantis. Uh, Ozfest and it'll pop up and you can actually literally see all the different seasons, which I guess were, they had one season, but 12 episodes. So that guitar is this one right here, this guitar LTD. And this is the only one minor detail eh, that I kind of didn't like, uh, is the abalone around it all, but I've actually gotten used to it now. So now I understand why guys who uh, love BC Rich like it. I You get used to it even if you don't like it. Um, but this thing is absolutely incredible. So aside from it having, you know, and the only downfall is that this is actually a uh, maple flame top, but it's actually a veneer. Uh, and so is the matching headstock. Ah, you can't really see it there, but uh, trust me that this guitar is every bit, I, I'm telling you, every bit of an ESP custom, period. So, you know, this one is a 2005 model. So a lot, you know, so I ended up telling a few guys like, oh, dude, I picked up an LTD 1000. It's absolutely great. I can't believe the quality. Um, it, it is, it's exactly like my $2,500 ESP customs. And just for shits and giggles, I'm not going to lie. Just in case this was a fluke, I was just like, if I get the chance to get another one, maybe I will. Because this guitar could easily be an ESP M2 Custom, and it isn't until you tilt it and you see that it reads LTD, that's the only time you realize, oh, this isn't my, S uh, my ESP. Um, so I decided... Let me get another one. And another one popped up. And that other one is right here. <laughs> this is a 2002 LTD Deluxe uh, or M1000 Deluxe. Uh, so same thing. Uh, again, I don't know if you can see it, but it actually, I yeah, can see it a little bit. So it has the, uh, the maple flame top there. Maple flame top there. Also, they both have original... Floyd Rose, um, uh, a Floyd Rose bridge. They both have ESP 81, I'm sorry, EMG 81 pickups, active pickups. They are both loaded, of course, with the, um, 24 volt boost, uh, packs that I have in them for all of my guitars that have EMGs. Let me tell you as a guy who was very, I'm talking about for years since 1996, I have been anti LTD like you have no idea. Like don't even don't even want to look at one. No, no thanks. Don't want to play your LTD. Thanks. I have ESPs. Um but thanks for asking. So like snobbery like you have no idea. <laughs> And that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? Like if you drove, I don't know, if you had a BMW seven series and your boy was just like, yo, I have a BMW one series. You should drive it. It's definitely like, nah, thanks. But no, thanks. Not interested. I will just drive my seven series tank instead of your little BMW, uh, beetle <laughs> that they happen to have for guys like you. That was, you know, I'm sorry, bro. Like, dude, you know, I'm going to go to hell forever thinking that and not giving it a shot. 
um, because I literally spent years spending a way too much money on ESPs. And here's the crazy part. I will never, ever buy another ESP. Don't have to. Why? LTD make the M1000 and they are exactly like my ESP M2 Customs. So if you have an ESP, I'm sorry, an LTD, M1000, MH1000, EC1000, and you're just like, ah, these are kind of like ESP Customs, bro, they are exactly, exactly like any ESP custom that's out there. I'm telling you as a guy who has always been anti-LTD, if you have a 1000 series, understand if it's made in Korea, so you're talking about the early 2000s, I'm telling you now, that guitar is built, it's weighted, it is as gorgeous, plays just as immaculate, just as well as any ESP custom from that era that literally is thousands of dollars more, okay? So, in me saying that I will never buy another ESP, yo, that, that's a lot. Like, even I know. Like, I remember I was just like, I don't think I'm ever going to buy an ESP. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Then I bought the second LTD um, M1000. Done. Dude, it is totally not a fluke. They play exactly, I'm telling you, exactly like my ESP customs. So... If you get the chance to buy an LTD 1000 series, I don't touch the, uh, the eclipses. Not that I don't like them. I have had less Pauls. I just, eh, I gave up on the shape a while ago. Um, but the MH and the M 1000s, yo, you're going to be comp competing against me without question. If you, if there's, <laughs> if one pops up on eBay and I'm, you know, I'm already banned from reverb. So if it's on reverb, you can have it. Uh, but if it's on eBay and it's an auction, Trust that I'm one of the guys that's on there. Look for the look for the guy bidding that has 1,300 uh, um, transa transactions, you know, next to their name, or it'll be a number, right? Because that's how they do it, and that's how they hide everyone's uh, account. If you see one with 1,300, that's me. <laughs> You'll be like, that's Lou right there competing, you know, and bidding this thing higher against me. Um, but these two absolutely incredible and it is crazy 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 anyway i just wanted to share my two cents again take it for what it is um i literally have thousands spent on esp guitars uh <laughs> so it's not like it's something that i've ever wanted to experience or ever wanted to do but literally it's like it's like BMW having the 7 Series and Volkswagen came out with almost the identical 7 Series. It's just called the Volkswagen Louis. Get the Louis because it is exactly like the other car. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't, jerk face. Huge shout out to my boy Joe who runs and started Heavy Metal Amps and Pedals. Guys, Joe, you are the man. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Again, hit the subscribe button. And as usual, I will talk to you guys soon.